Hey guys, welcome to my 23 week bump date. This week, baby is the size of a Barbie doll, which is hilarious. I'm guessing that means the length. I don't know. Um, I loved Barbie dolls when I was little. Um, my mom always tells the story that my sister and I would have our Barbie dolls and then we would go to school and when we would come back, my younger brother would strip all of the dolls naked and take all the clothes off and we would be so sad because all of our Barbie dolls would be naked. We don't have any Barbie dolls in this house with um, Grayson and then now another boy coming along, but hopefully one day I'll have a girl so that we'll have some Barbie dolls. Baby is also the size of a mango, a bunch of grapes, and a chinchilla. Chinchillas kind of freak me out. They're like bunnies and hamsters. They just kind of freak me out. They're like rodents. <laughs> this week, Baby is, his face is fully formed. Um, he's just waiting for it to kind of fill out a little more with like all the wrinkles. He needs to just put on more fat. His digestive system is starting to work more and more, like just digesting the um, amniotic fluid that he keeps um, drinking, I guess you could say, or inhaling. Baby is now about a pound. Um, so that's really exciting, like, oh, he's so big. <laughs> and he's over a foot tall. The coolest thing this week, well, I think it's the coolest thing, is that this week Baby can start hearing noises from the outside. So he can hear loud noises like a dog barking, a horn beeping. Um, apparently it's easier for them to hear um, low noises right now, so higher pitch voices like Grayson's he probably can't hear right now, but deeper voices like Anthony's he probably can hear pretty well, so that's really exciting. This week I've really been craving ice cream. I've been having it a ton lately, I just can't get enough of it. Any kind of ice cream, I want it, I eat it all the time. I have probably a bowl a day, which probably isn't the best, and it's also probably why I've gained 14 pounds. <laughs> Last time I weighed myself, which was like four weeks ago, I had only gained eight pounds, and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Now I weigh myself, like a month later, I'm like 14 pounds. I'm like, oh my gosh. I really need to start weighing myself every week so that it doesn't like sneak up on me that, oh my gosh, I've gained so much weight. Um, and I know it's okay, and I'm not like, um, I'm not even like halfway there. Like I want to gain probably around like 25 to 35 pounds. So if I hit like 30 pounds, that's probably like the sweet spot. So I haven't even gained like half of the amount that I'm supposed to, but it still like freaks me out when I got on the scale and I was like, holy cow, I'm 136 pounds. Like that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, but I've been eating a ton of ice cream. I've been really hungry lately. I've been snacking a lot and eating a lot more. I'm still pretty tired. I haven't even had to drink coffee too much lately, but um, I am pretty tired. I've been having like crazy dreams, um, but I haven't been waking up in the middle of the night too much, so that's been good. I've been getting pretty good like um, all night sleep. Rarely is it that I wake up in the middle of the night anymore to go pee, which I know won't last forever, but for now it's pretty nice. I haven't talked about this in a couple weeks, so I just wanted to say it. My acne's gotten a lot better um, now that I'm towards the end of the second trimester. I feel like my hormones have just cooled out a little, and well, baby's been taking over his own hormones and not taking from me, so my acne has gotten a ton better, so that's been really nice. I've been feeling baby a lot more. Um, his movements are everywhere. I've been feeling a lot of, like, him kicking or punching my cervix, which I don't really remember Grayson doing that, but it, it when he kicks down there, it literally feels like a hand or a foot is going to like pop out. <laughs> like he kicks so low, and I don't remember Grayson ever doing that, but he has been doing that a lot. But I've been feeling a ton of kicks. Again, it's still mostly in the mornings, a little bit in the mornings, most of it's in the evenings but I do feel him still not as much as I thought I would, so I still think he's a pretty lazy baby. I've just been getting really tired lately. Like, just the littlest things will just kind of exhaust me, and I find myself needing to, like, take more breaks, take more rest, sit down a lot more. 
Um, so I feel like it's just the pregnancy is just taking a lot of energy from me, so it's hard to just keep up. And I feel bad because it makes me look like I'm lazy, but <laughs> I just I expend my energy really fast. Um, my nails are still growing really fast, which is super nice. My hair feels crazy and really thick. Um, it's starting to get warm outside, and with the warm comes humidity, and my hair has just been going crazy with humidity lately. So that's not too fun. I feel like my belly's getting really big this week. Um, I'll show you guys. So again, uh, new week, same problem with me wearing baggy shirts, although this is a short sleeve because it's warm outside, but this is a regular shirt. It is not a maternity shirt, hence why I need to wear baggy shirts. <laughs> But I will pull it tight for you guys. So here it is. 23 weeks. So yeah, I feel like I'm definitely getting way bigger. It's not going to be too much longer to where I can't wear any of my regular shirts and I need to wear only maternity shirts. And I'm dreading that because I cannot buy maternity clothes for the life of me. Thankfully here in Ohio, Kohl's has just opened today. Um, and so hopefully I'll get the chance to go there. They usually have a decent maternity department so I just need to find some clothes. <laughs> I've noticed I've been getting really hot lately and this is gonna be a really hot summer. It's gonna be really hard for me to be pregnant during this summer. My belly just gets so hot. I constantly find myself just like hiking my shirt up so that my belly is exposed almost like I'm wearing just like a tube top and pants and I just let my belly hang out. Of course I don't do this in public or when I have you know people over but when I'm just by myself or Anthony or Grayson I just let it hang out because <laughs> I just get so hot for some reason my belly is so hot I've been feeling um, a little bit of like crampiness a little bit of like stretching I think it's just like my uterus continuing to grow I just feel like I'm noticing it more this pregnancy just like the aches and pains and the stretches of pregnancy I have been having back pain here and there. I haven't had to use my back brace that I used for my first pregnancy, um, but I do notice like if I don't sleep, if I sleep in a funny position at night or like I'm sitting weird for a while, like my back will really hurt. I feel like my breathing is starting to get a little more labored. I've noticed myself like doing deep breaths and like inhaling and exhaling like, I don't know what I want to say, but like. I've been like sighing a lot I guess you could say like I'll just be like <sighs> like things like that and Anthony always thinks that I'm like annoyed or upset about something but it's not that I'm just like trying to catch catch my breath even though I'm like sitting down <laughs> so I just like I don't have a lot of um, air I feel like a lot which is hard because whenever you go out people want you to wear a mask but it's like it's hard enough for me to breathe without a mask so whenever I have whenever I do have to wear a mask it gets really hard for me. If this was a regular pregnancy and there wasn't a pandemic going on, I would be having my next doctor's appointment next week, uh, but because of the pandemic and they just want me to have the least amount of exposure as possible, I will not have a doctor's appointment next week for 24 weeks. Uh, my next appointment is at 28 weeks, so another month to go still, which stinks. <laughs> I haven't pulled out my um, fetal Doppler in a while, like to listen to baby's heartbeat. I have a one that I use at home that I just like got off of Amazon, um, but I haven't had to use it just because I feel baby all the time, so I'm like, that's the reassurance that I need. Um, so I don't feel like I have to listen to his heart all the time because I'm like, well, if you're kicking, you're obviously doing okay. <laughs> um, in addition to being really hungry, I've been really thirsty lately. I just constantly have to be drinking something. Of course, I always want like cold drinks because I'm so hot. I still get a lot of um, people telling me that I still look really small for being as far along as I am. Um, people think that last pregnancy I was bigger than what I am right now. I don't really know. I'd have to go back and look at pictures. I took weekly pictures last pregnancy too, so maybe I'll have to compare them. I do feel like, even though I do feel like I have a really big belly, I do feel like smaller than what I was with Grayson but it's just so hard to remember because I was pregnant with Grayson like three years ago <laughs> so that's a long time but I think that's all for this week just a couple things to update you on the belly's getting bigger and baby's still kicking so everything's going great um, I'm still in that second trimester so 
feeling awesome most of the time. I don't have a lot of pains. Um, no Braxton Hicks or anything like that. So I didn't really get, I only got those with Grayson like a handful of times. So it'll be interesting with this being my second pregnancy if I'm gonna get them or not. But anyway, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.